Really dead spin, blackface, is that what we're going to go with? Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the woke sports news website, Dead Spin, accusing a young Kansas City Chiefs fan of wearing blackface at the game between them and the Las Vegas Raiders out there in Vegas. Now, this is a ridiculous story for a variety of reasons. And before I get into my explanation of why it's ridiculous, beyond the obvious, first things first, I can't really say I'm surprised. I figured there would be some level of controversy linked to the picture of the young boy with the face paint and the Native American headdress. Not because of the face paint, but because of the headdress. Okay, you got a young white kid wearing Native American attire. That's somehow racist. That's somehow offensive. Although when I was a young and there was never a thing about it being racist or offensive. It was just, okay, I'm going to dress up. I'm going to dress as this culture, dress as that culture. It wasn't really a big deal. Going to a football game, same thing. I'm going to dress as that culture, dress as this, dress as that. It's not a big deal. But I knew there would be some level of controversy because of the Native American headdress. Now, what I didn't really account for is how the mainstream media just outright lies. Outright just saying whatever they want to say to push a narrative. Whenever they want to push a narrative, it doesn't really matter what they use. It could be true or false. It doesn't matter. They're going to use it to push forward the narrative. And here we are accusing this young boy of wearing blackface to push the quote unquote racism narrative. Totally ridiculous. Now, before I go any further into it, let's check out an article right here. This is Zed Spin. This is a really, 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 really woke quote unquote sports news website that I would avoid at all costs. Okay. If you don't like reading super far left woke trash, this website's not for you, but let's read it. Shall we? The headline ridiculous headline. The NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas city chiefs fan in blackface and native headdress. So the native headdress part, I figured they would put into a hit piece about the young boy, but the blackface part, a complete lie. And we're going to get into that. The subhead, they're doubling up on the racism. Are you going to say anything, Roger Goodell? And I think Roger Goodell is still the NFL commissioner. This is written by Karen. <laughs> As I say, Karen J. Phillips, that's a black male, by the way. Um, we're going to keep on going here. And you see the picture again, native headdress, uh, the quote unquote black face, which ain't nothing but face paint. The feathers, everything looks good. The jersey, everything looks good. I don't see a problem. Okay, you got a young football fan coming to the game, having a good time. But some people just got to be Debbie Downers, got to be haters, and got to push forward a fake narrative that doesn't really exist. All right, let's keep on rocking here. Let's see what he writes. It takes a lot to disrespect two groups of people at once. But on Sunday afternoon in Las Vegas, a Kansas City Chiefs fan found a way to hate black people and the Native Americans at the same time. Why make this about you, Karen? Why is it about you? I mean, you think that this man put on, not man, this boy put on black face to try and upset you and I when he has on a whole Native American headdress? Is that what you thought in your mind? Did that make any sense? Huh? Trying to offend? He looks like he's pretty well dressed to me. Why would he be trying to offend anybody? Anyway, he continues. It was if John Gruden's emails had come to life. And if you don't know about that, there was some racist uh, emails or something like that about John Gruden. I have no idea, really. That's not really something I'm, I'm too invested in. But then here is a tweet. It says, this Chiefs fan is totally having a normal one. And then... This is um, some context on Twitter. Shout out to the community notes on Twitter. You guys do a good job. They add some context. It says, this Kansas City Chiefs fan is not wearing blackface. The other side of his face is painted red, and it's to show the team colors for the Chiefs. Now, some are going to say, uh, well, black, that's not part of the Chiefs uh, colors, ABL. It's just red, white, and, and yellow. Well, if you look at the... Kansas City logo, the arrowhead, it's outlined in black. 
And it doesn't really matter because look at this right here. You, you see he has on a necklace that has the black background, mostly black. It's black, white, and red. That's on the black shirt underneath. Okay, so he was just trying to coordinate. And obviously, he has half of his face painted red. So is that somehow offensive when he's, like, matching his jersey literally? Okay, his necklace right there is black, white, and red. Black shirt underneath. You have the black lining of the Kansas City Arrowhead and the normal logo. What is the problem? What are we talking about exactly? What are we really saying? And as a matter of fact, you know what? Here's something else. You ready? You ready for it? I got a trigger warning for you guys out there who are offended by the quote unquote blackface, which is not. Look at this right here. Oh my goodness. Trigger alert. Okay, Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, obviously, their colors are clearly black, gold, white. So is that somehow racist right here? Is that is that racist? Like, what are we saying? This is ridiculous. This is totally ridiculous. That's not racist, and that's not racist. What I see are young football fans. But let's see if Karen Karan, let's see if he's able to convince me that I'm incorrect here. The image of a Chiefs fan in blackface wearing a native headdress during a road game leads to so many unanswered questions. Why did a camera p person give this fan the attention? Why not? Why wouldn't they? Why not him? Why did a producer allow that camera angle to be aired at all? Because nobody thinks that it's blackface aside from Karen Phillips and people that read Deadspin on purpose. If you read Deadspin on purpose and you like it, then you probably thought that was blackface too. So only you guys are going to be offended and you guys represent such a minute percent of the population. It's not really worth catering to. Is that a... Is that fan a kid, teenager, or young adult? Man, come on. This is a little boy. This is a little boy, man. You can't, you don't know what a little boy looks like, for real? Come on, man. Like, you don't know what a little kid looks like? Stop, man. What in the world? What kind of question is that? What's on your hard drive, sir? Anyway, despite their age, who taught that person that what they were wearing was appropriate? I mean, it, it is appropriate. It's not inappropriate. What's inappropriate about it? Because you got your feelings hurt? Really? My man, this is this is low. I mean, I thought a place like Deadspin, mainstream media couldn't get any lower, but you guys have proven me wrong. I got to go ahead and eat my shoe, eat my hat, because you guys have proven me wrong. This is crazy. Let's continue. The answers to all of those questions lead back to the NFL. While it isn't the league's responsibility to stop racism and hate from being taught in the home, they are a league that has relentlessly participated in prejudice. If the NFL had outlawed the chop at Chiefs games and been more aggressive in changing the team's name, then he wouldn't be here. So Redskins, that was offensive. And beyond that, let me let's just, just pause here. Nobody thought the name Redskins was offensive growing up. Okay, y'all know I'm from Virginia. I grew up on the Redskins. It, it was Redskins. Either you were a Cowboys and Redskins game. And every Thanksgiving, it was Cowboys and Indians. That's what it was. Nobody was offended. Nobody thought it was racist. Nobody. You may have some people who think that it's racist, but how many? Like, what are we saying exactly? And Chiefs, is that an offensive name? I mean, what are you going to say next? The, 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 the Cherokee or Iroquois? Are you going to say the actual names of uh, Native Confederations are racist as well? I don't understand. This is like we're we're going into just bizarro world here. All right. And the chop, that's not, I mean, come on, man. Like, can we not celebrate native culture? Or is that is that offensive? Do we do we just act like it never happened, it doesn't exist, and just throw it away? We don't talk about we don't talk about uh, Native American uh confederations, tribes, we don't talk about uh, chieftains, we don't talk about uh, anything, we just Leave it over there. No arrowheads, nothing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see. There's no place for a franchise to be called the Chiefs in a league that's already eradicated Redskins. There's no pretty way to mascot people. <laughs> uh, Amanda Blackhorse, a Native American activist and an organizer of a pregame protest rally told USA Today Sports. Man, you got one Native person. What You know what I want to do? 
I want to just take a poll of Native people, maybe even on the res, on different reses, if, that, if that's a proper word, across the country, and see if the people who live there are really offended by these things that mostly white liberals say they are offended by. White and black liberals, liberals of many colors. Shout out Dolly Parton. This is what happens when you ban books. You stand against critical race theory and try to erase centuries of hate. You give future generations the ammunition they need to evolve and recreate racism better than before. This is crazy. We're talking about book banning. What you mean the books that got inappropriate pictures in it that people can't even read at a school board meeting lest they get escorted out by police? Shout out to John Amanchuku for proving that point true many times over and over again. And critical race theory, what are we talking? We're we talking about a little boy. Look, let's let's put it back in context as I close. As I close, let's put it back in context. We're talking about a little boy wearing a Native American headdress and you want to devolve it into talking about critical race theory. Is that what we're going to do? So that is a kind of five-star journalism, reporting, op-eds, opinion pieces you're going to get from Deadspin. <laughs> but as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to everybody who was not offended at this obviously not offensive picture. And shout out to those who want to make a mountain out of a molehill. This is crazy. But the, the craziest thing was the lie talking about blackface. Really? Why just show that one angle and then run with your headline and not show the other angle? Oh, because if you show the other angle, then it kills your narrative, which we can't have, right? That's, that's totally against the rules, apparently. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what's going on here with Deadspin? And there are lies about this young boy wearing, quote unquote, blackface. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is part four of the course when you're talking about these woke publications, websites, whatever. They always do this. They always run with fake headlines, fake news, false narratives to push forward their narrative. But this one was pretty egregious because it was obviously on its face false. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.